Hi, I'm Jeff White and I'm the owner of Cleanies and I wanted to take just a minute and talk to you about grout brushes. Pretty boring subject, but it's pretty important when you go to clean your tile and grout. Uh, I was in the tile and grout cleaning business for over 20 years. I think I've tried every grout brush on the market. I was just going to go over a few, tell you why they work, why they don't work, and uh, just give you my opinion. All of these grout brushes here and all the ones I've ever found attach to a standard broom pole. This is just a broom from the dollar store. Okay, the handle comes off. This costs a dollar from the dollar store. And it attaches easily to any of these. Uh, we do have questions all the time. It doesn't, our, our grouties doesn't come with, and a brush doesn't come with a, the pole. It's a shipping nightmare. We're trying to keep everybody's cost down uh, and give you the best products on the market. None of these come with a pole. We are trying to find a smaller pole that's easier to ship, but as of this filming, the beginning of 2020, we haven't found it yet. If we get one, we'll let you know. It just attaches easily to any standard broom pole you have around the house. If you don't have one, if you don't have a broom, if you don't have a push broom, a microfiber mop that the handle comes off, go to the hardware store, they're about two bucks. So it's just not worth spending 20 bucks to have it shipped to your house. Um, the first grout brush, I tried this thing years ago. You can see it's pretty beat up. It's called uh, the Tile and Grout Shark. I thought this was gonna be the lifesaver for my business because it got great reviews. I absolutely hated this brush. I'm sure the people who invented it are nice and I'm sure some of them get good results out of it. It's pretty flat, it's kind of rounded on the bottom, um, but it doesn't fit into the grout lines, and the bristles are too stiff. It's like rubbing a brick across the grout lines. I hated this thing. We used it for about a month. We had probably half a dozen of them, and this is the last one I have left. I, I tossed the other ones out. The next one we used for a while was from Flowpack. Flow pack isn't a bad brush. It's pretty expensive. I think this thing was about 35 bucks. When you get it, the bristles are really long and they're very flimsy. They're, the other ones were too stiff. These aren't stiff enough. So we would always cut them down, maybe about three quarters of the way, and then we'd get a little bit out of it. They still, we had to scrub twice as hard with this brush, but it was the only option I had for a long time. Uh, not a real big fan, but I did use it for probably five years before I found something better. The next brush is this triangle one. This thing is from Sparta, I think it's called. When I first started Cleanies, this is the one that we sold with our kits. I like this one. I like the bristles. They're not too firm, um, but they're firm enough. The problem is it's flat, so it doesn't fit into the grout lines. You always have to go on an angle to get into the grout lines. And it doesn't swivel like the other swivel. This one, you put the pole on the one side, so you're always turning to get the grout clean. You're, the, the brush isn't working with you. It's kind of working against you. Not bad, I love the bristles. It's just a pain in the butt to use. You could always go to the handheld ones. We never even had these on the truck. To tell you the truth, the only reason I had these is when I went out for estimates. I'd get on my hands and knees and show people how hard it was. And they were like, yeah, I don't want to do that. And then they would hire our company to clean their tile and grout. Nice bristles. This one's been beaten down a little bit because this is the one I use to fit in my case. Uh, just not fun. We see a lot of people use this brush. Good bristles on this one. It's kind of small. Um, but they put it on a drill. And... It flings stuff everywhere. I don't know why people use this crazy thing. I was never a fan. Maybe other people, maybe on a wall and the shower it would be good if you need to get a little more aggressive. Um, but to be on your hands and knees on a grout line with a with a drill flinging that stuff just never made sense to me. I tried it a few times for about five square feet and then this got off and went back in the truck somewhere. Um, everything changed in my service business when I found this brush. I found it for cleanies when I still had the service business, which we don't have anymore because of some health problems of mine. But this thing changed everything. It's angled, so it fits into the grout lines. It's nice and not too stiff and not too uh, soft. So it's got 
perfect. I, I just I just love how the stiffness of these bristles. On our truck, we clean tile and grout every day. This brush, until I wore it down to the nubs, would last us about six to nine months. In your house, you'll never need another grout brush. Trust me, we did them every day, five to six days a week, and it would last that long for us. Uh, it's a great brush. It's got a nice swivel. It takes a lot of abuse. It fits on any standard pole. If you're doing the tile, you get it on its side and just scrub at it, and it fits right in those little holes and those crevices, especially if you have a textured grout or a tile. It'll take it right up into the grout lines. It's even, it's even better. You're going to love this brush. That's why we sell it, and we sell a lot of it, to tell you the truth. We also have a tile brush from the same manufacturer, as you can see the way it looks, uh, but it's flat. It's really not for grout. It's more for getting the tile, so if you have a highly textured tile, or if you have a natural stone, travertine, marble, that needs a little aggression, it's, it, it's, it's stiff enough to where it's going to clean, but it's not going to scratch your tile up. Um, we're big fans of this too. This is an add-on. You can buy this separately on our website, cleanease.com. Um, I hope this explained what I think about these grout brushes. Not good. Not bad, but very expensive. This one, great bristles, but really a pain in the butt to work with, especially since you got to get on, the si on its side and get into the grout lines. These, self-explanatory, pain in the butt. And I like ours, that's why we sell ours with. Comes free with a two bottle kit, a one, uh, it comes with a one bottle kit, or you can buy it on its own on our website, cleanease.com. Thanks for watching.